look at that. Uh, got the garage cleaned out enough to be able to park my uh, my car back in here. It's uh, it's pretty dirty. Plus, it's been rained on with a sprinkler. Um, so hard water spots. So definitely gotta definitely gotta get that uh, cleaned up. Still have not still have not returned this uh, thing yet. The macro precision torques that were incorrectly advertised as RBRT. Got to put all these blow molded cases back up. Um, my coolants. Um, I got to clean up that gauge before I put it back in there. I didn't necessarily use all of these, but um, the Honda is coming to you for pretty much uh, a major service for all the components plus leaking gasket. So I actually need to order those parts. I'm a big procrastinator. Um, if I say it, chances are, chances are I won't do it. So, but yeah, got it cleaned out. All the tools that were on the floor from working on the Tacoma um, is now back in their relative spaces, except for all this that I took down. Um, but everything got wiped up, put back. I did got some some shop towel like this. I have this. <coughs> I have two of these uh, can hold or glove holders. One is over there, right there on the column. And you got this one right here. Conveniently, it just holds this one. So um, I don't need to have a, for a lot of these, to be honest. One on the rack, one, you know, on standby, and I can just keep that cycle going. That's plenty enough for me. <clears throat> um, once I get my shed done, I'll, I'll probably buy like a larger case just to have them out there. But I don't want to have a large case in here, you know. Um, this area is um, where I store most of my, well, well, I'm not going to say bulkier stuff because I got a lot of bulky stuff over there, but some of the stuff that I don't need all that often, like the my quick jacks that I use for my Tacoma, they're back up, all the creepers and stuff. That's my second set of quick jack there. Um, like these chairs and stuff I'll store in there. Um, I got the Milwaukee pack out. That's where I store my, my spray paint. Um, so I had to grab, um, some black ones for my, um, for my Tacoma cause I need to spray that under panel. Um, so I'm just going to use a primer. This is what I use on my, my calipers on the Acura on the back. They've held up, so primer. I use this, and then I'll just use the caliber paint. These are black. Primer is kind of gray. So there's that. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on in here. Uh, I figure I did a video on all the stuff on the floor, and I talked about it, but this is a, a follow-up to that. Um, yeah. Uh, what else is there? Uh, this garage is always going to be a constant progress. There's um, stuff that I got to do still, you know, to make it improve. But it's definitely um, very much functional. Um, so I haven't really done much, but there's additional stuff that I need to do. Um, but I've moved on to other projects. So, yeah, it was a quick, a quick follow up. It's pretty warm in the garage, <clears throat> so we're going to get out of here, uh, and, um, go look online, see if we can find some deals on tool, uh, not tools, um, parts for the Honda. Um, so definitely got to get that, get that going so those parts can come in so I can find some time to, to get that stuff done, going. The oil change is coming due, and it's gonna come on any time in the next week and a half. It's at 30%, so whatever percentage that light goes off at, and plus it's leaking oil, so I keep checking the oil. Um, I at least topped it up once, because it was at or below the min. Um, so I kinda wanted to do the vodka cover gasket with the oil change, which I can do, I guess. Um, it's not the end of the world.
um, but I wanted to do like spark plugs and um, all the fluids, changing all the fluids, brake, calipers, rotors, front and back, uh, pretty much everything um, that you typically change out, um, water pump, um, serpentine belt, and um, so, yeah. It's probably not going to go down as long as a Tacoma because um, um, the wife needs it to drive. Um, so we'll just do what we can and keep it running and just keep keep trucking away. All right, anyway, as you can see, it's night out. Um, still looking for a great way to organize this stuff. I just, like I said, I left it open because I don't want to keep it, I don't want to get a, I don't want to clutter this thing up, but, um, yeah, I have a lot of fluid, um, let's see, I do have a lot of fluid in here from my Honda, um, our fellow Honda, so, a lot of coolant and stuff, oil and stuff. So some of this is gonna get cleared out. Much like the Tacoma transmission. Um, I mean, these are, um, these should have been used a while ago. But when all this stuff gets cleared out, I'm not gonna have a surplus of stuff laying around. Um, so this is gonna free up space for all those um, tools I've purchased. And I've like never really organized this up here. It's just kind of throwing stuff up there. Um, so there's a couple of these drawers that I have not really organized and then I can add more of these which I absolutely love these things Like if you have a harbor for icon chest, I would get rid of those like solid Shelves and get the, the slide out shelves. I know it costs a little bit more, but man That's the way to go Definitely gain access to everything um As me always say, like on a hit a ting. <laughs>